In the second part of tutorial 81, I'll continue working on these beautiful crochet beaded shoes. Let's finish round 7 together and begin the next one. Chain 3 for the last chain space and make a slip stage into the single crochet we made on the beginning of this round. Round 7 is ready and let's take a look at the result. In this round we joined 9 beads to the toe. Now before starting the next round make a slip stitch into the following chain stitch. And begin round 8 by working a single crochet into the first chain space. Then chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and single crochet into the next chain space of previous round. Again chain 3 and single crochet into the next chain space. Work all the way till this chain space that is right before the first bead. So chain 3 and single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and single crochet. 1, 2, 3 chain stitches and single crochet into the next chain space. Now into this next chain space I'll be working the single crochet stitch with a bead. But first chain 2 instead of 3 1, 2, and single crochet with a bead. Put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. For this round we need 10 beads. Continue and work the same chain 2 and single crochet with a bead into the next chain space. Put a bead on the hook, pull up a loop through the chain space, then through the bead, yarn over, pull through two, repeat chain two, and single crochet with a bead into the next chain space. Again chain two and join the next bead by working a single crochet into the next chain space. chain 2, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain 2, put a bead on the hook and single crochet. Keep working the same. chain 2 and join the next bead by working single crochet into the next chain space. And the last time chain 2. Now put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. Now to continue chain 2, 1, 2 and single crochet into the next chain space. Work without the bead. And then continue working chain spaces of 3. Chain 3 and single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain 3 and single crochet. Keep working in this way till the end of the round. And now let me show you the shoe. Here how it looks so far.
Now continue and complete this round by working chain spaces of three. Let's finish round eight. For the last chain space, chain two instead of three, one and two, and then single crochet into the single crochet we made on the beginning of this round. Now to begin the next ninth round, single crochet around the post of single crochet we've just made. Then chain three for the chain space and single crochet into the next chain space of previous round. Again, chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. Keep working till this first chain space of two that is right before the first beat. So chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. Again, chain three and single crochet. And the last time, chain three and single crochet. Here is this first chain space of two where I need to start joining beads. So now chain one for the chain space and the same, join the bead by working single crochet stitch into the next chain space. It is the first chain space of two. Continue, repeat the same, chain one and single crochet with a bead into the next chain space. To this round, I need to join 11 beads. So continue the same chain one and single crochet with a bead into the next chain space. Again, chain one, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space of two. Then chain one and join the next bead by working the single crochet stitch. Chain one and single crochet with a bead. Chain one. Put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain one, put a bead on the hook and single crochet. Chain one and join the next bead. Chain one and single crochet into the next chain space. And the last time, chain one, put a bead on the hook and single crochet into the next chain space of two. Now, chain one. And single crochet into the following chain space, work without the bead this time. Now continue chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. Again, chain three and single crochet. Let's stop at this point and take a look at the toe. We're almost done with the toe part. I'm not going to join beads anymore. Here we made five rounds with beads. Now you need to continue making chain spaces of three till the end of this round. To complete round nine, chain three for the last chain space. One, two, three. And then work a slip stitch into the first single crochet that we started this round with. 
Round 9 is ready. It was the last round where we joined the beads. And here what we have. All beads are on the toe and the upper part of this shoe made of a simple mesh stitch. Let's continue and start round 10. First make a slip stitch into the next chain stitch of previous round is to move the yarn. And then single crochet into this first chain space of previous round. Now I'm going to make chain spaces of 2. So chain 2, 1, 2 and single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain 2 and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain 2 and single crochet into the next chain space. Now here we have one chain space of three on previous round. And the next one is a chain space of one. I'll single crochet into this last chain space of three and then continue working into the chain spaces of one. So chain two, single crochet into the chain space of three. and insert the stitch marker into the single crochet we've just made. At this point I'll start decreasing the stitch count in the next round. Now continue this round working single crochet stitches. So single crochet into the next single crochet stitch of previous round. Then single crochet into the next chain space of one. Then again single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. And then single crochet into the chain space. Continue the same single crochet into the single crochet and then into the chain space into the stitch and into the chain space. Keep working single crochet stitches till the last bead. Single crochet into the single crochet and then into the chain space of one again into the single crochet and into the chain space of one. Single crochet into the single crochet stitch then into the chain space of one. Again single crochet into the single crochet and single crochet into the last chain space of one. Then single crochet into the following single crochet stitch and then into the next chain space of three. And here also insert the stitch marker into the single crochet that is made into the chain space of three. It is the last stitch we've made. Then continue making chain spaces of two. So chain two and single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain two and single crochet into the next chain space. Let's take a look at the shoe now. It is almost ready. Now you need to continue the work and complete this round by making the chain spaces of two the same way. Work till the end of this round. Let's complete round 10 and begin the next one. So chain two for the last chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two and make a slip stitch into the single crochet we made on the beginning of this round. Round 10 is ready. Here how it looks. With the stitch markers we marked the stitches where we need to start and finish the decreasing. The next round, round 11, will be a round of single crochet stitches. So, to start round 11, chain 1 to bring up the yarn and single crochet twice into the first chain space of 2. 1 and 2. Then single crochet into the single crochet stitch. Again, single crochet twice into the next chain space of 2 and single crochet into the single crochet stitch. Keep working the same till you reach the first stitch marker. Single crochet twice into the chain space that is right before the stitch marker. Now remove the stitch marker and single crochet two together. For this, pull up a loop through the next stitch, hold two loops on the hook, then pull up a loop through the following stitch. We have three loops, then yarn over and pull through three to finish the decrease stitch. Now insert the stitch marker into the decrease stitch we've just made. Continue this round, single crochet two together, pull up a loop through the next stitch, then through the next one, yarn over and pull through three. And now single crochet into the next stitch. Again single crochet two together, one, two, yarn over, pull through three, and single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and alternate in between the decrease stitch and single crochet. Single crochet two together, then single crochet. Again single crochet two together, and single crochet. single crochet two together and single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet two together, single crochet, again single crochet two together and single crochet. Then single crochet two together, one, two, yarn over, pull through three, and again single crochet two together, the same as we did on the opposite side. Pull up a loop through the next stitch, then remove the stitch marker and pull up a loop through the stitch that was with the marker. We have three loops, yarn over and pull through three. Into this decrease stitch we've just made, insert the stitch marker. Now continue this round by working single crochet stitches. So single crochet twice into the next chain space of two, and then single crochet into the single crochet stitch. So single crochet twice into each chain space of two and single crochet into each single crochet. Work till the end of this round. Here how the shoe looks now. You need to continue and single crochet till the end of this round. Let's complete round 11 together. I single crocheted twice into the last chain space of two. Now make a slip stitch into the first chain stitch we made on the beginning of this round. Round is completed and 
here. How beautiful our shoe is. Now I'm going to make one more round where I'll decrease the stitch count. So begin round 12. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn and single crochet to each stitch of previous round. Work all the way till you reach the first stitch marker. Here, single crochet into the stitch that is right before the one with the marker. Then remove the stitch marker to continue. And begin decreasing. Single crochet two together. Pull up a loop through the next stitch. Then pull up a loop through the next one. Yarn over and pull through three. Then single crochet into the next stitch. And again, single crochet two together. One, two, yarn over, pull through three. And single crochet into the next stitch. Again, single crochet two together. And single crochet. Again, single crochet two together. One, Two, yarn over, pull through three, and single crochet into the next stitch. Again, single crochet two together, one, two, yarn over, pull through three, and single crochet into the next stitch. And the last decrease stitch, pull up a loop through the next stitch, then pull up a loop through the stitch that is with the stitch marker, remove the marker, pull up a loop through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through three. This is the last decrease stitch. Now continue and single crochet into each stitch till the end of this round. Let's see what we have now. Continue and single crochet till the end of this round. Single crochet into each stitch. To complete round 12, make a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Our beautiful shoe is not ready yet. I'm going to make one more round of single crochet stitches and then the trim. So to continue, let's begin round 13. Chain one to bring up the yarn and single crochet into each stitch of previous round. Continue and single crochet till the end of the round. I'm about to complete the last round, round 13. To do this, make a slip stitch into the chain stitch we made on the beginning. Now, if you wish, you can make a reverse single crochet trim. Let me show you how to do it. It is going to be the next round, round 14. So to start the trim, chain one to bring up the yarn. And reverse single crochet into each stitch, working all the way along the edge. Insert the hook into the next stitch to the right and single crochet. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Work into each stitch of previous round. Keep working till the end. To complete the reverse single crochet trim, make the last stitch, work into the last stitch of previous round, then remove the hook, 
insert it into the first reverse single crochet stitch from the back, take the working loop and pull it through the stitch. The round is completed and our little shoe is ready. Here, how beautiful it is. To make it even prettier, I'll work a reverse single crochet trim around the sole. I'll start somewhere on the heel part and here I'll be working through the stitches of round 4. To start the reverse single crochet, insert the hook into any stitch on the heel. Take the working yarn and pull up a loop through. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn and reverse single crochet into each stage of round 4. Here I'm working into the stage that is free. And now the next stage of round 4 is busy with a single crochet. Just move the single crochet on a side a bit, insert the hook into the stage. and reverse single crochet through. Now again work through the next stitch which is free and through the next one. Again the next stitch is busy with a single crochet. Work the same, just ignore that single crochet, insert the hook into the stitch and reverse single crochet through. Keep working in this way all the way around. Do not skip any stitches. Here, again, insert the hook into the next stitch and reverse single crochet through. Continue and reverse single crochet till the end of the round. Complete the round of a reverse single crochet trim the same way as we did it on the upper part. After you work through the last stitch, insert the hook into the first reverse single crochet stitch from the back. Take the working loop and pull it through the stitch. Round is completed. You can cut off the yarn and hide all tails. Our little beaded shoe is ready. One more thing we need to do is to crochet a cord with beads on both ends. To begin the cord, chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Into the third chain stitch away from the hook, make a three double crochet cluster stitch. Begin the first double, work it like you would until you have two loops on the hook. Hold two loops and begin the second double into the same stitch. Stop when you have three loops on the hook. Then work the third double into the same stitch and stop when you have four loops. Then yarn over and pull through four to complete the cluster. Now, to join the bead, make the working loop bigger. Take the bead, put it on the hook. Then pull this working loop through the bead. And then chain one to secure. Here, make this chain stitch very, very tight. Now I'll continue by working the exact same cluster stitch. So chain 2, 1, 2, and again into the third chain stitch away from the hook make a 3 double crochet cluster. Work the first double, 
stop when you have two loops on the hook, then the second double into the same stage, stop when you have three loops, and the third one, stop when you have four loops. Yarn over and pull through four to complete the cluster. Now to create a little flower, join the first and the second clusters together. For this, make a slip stage into the chain stage that the first cluster is coming out of. The chain stage that holds the bead is very tight. And here it is almost invisible. This is how you begin the cord. Now continue and make the cord as long as you need by working chain stitches. I'll chain 70. Keep working and make your cord as long as you need. After you make the cord long enough, complete it by crocheting the same little flowers on the beginning. As you can see, I cut off the yarn, leaving the tail long enough to crochet the exact same flower. But before you begin crocheting the flower, you need to draw the cord through the shoe however you like. Otherwise, with the flowers on both ends, you won't be able to do it. My flowers are too big for the holes in the shoe. So first you draw it through the shoe and then complete it. When you're done, your cord will look like this one. The second shoe worked the exact same way as the first one. For one shoe, I used 45 beads and two more beads for the cord ends. Now let's measure the size. My ready shoe measures nine, nine and a half centimeters. For more free video tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channels and visit our website at sharonneeding.com. Thank you so much for watching.